writing an icon with elementary schools. Hello everyone, this is 5B, the 5 for the older kids. For this session we're going to need dark brown paint, so go ahead and get that. So ladies and gentlemen, you've probably figured out, yep, we're going to be filling in the hair today. And later on, we're going to be doing the beard as well. But the beard, we're going to do some other different kind of painting on. Um, but for now, everything that's not painted is the hair. You can go ahead and grab your brushes and start filling in everything that you see over here. What's special about Jesus' hair? Well, he's got a heck of a lot of it. A lot more than me. When we think of Jesus' hair... I want you to think of ocean waves. When a wave in the ocean comes, it's incredibly strong. It can pull someone into the water or knock someone over. It can push a boat around. And if there's a storm, there's even more power there. Well, Jesus's hair has a lot of waves in it. In fact, when you look at icons of Jesus as a little child, his hair is totally curly wavy. As he gets older, like the icon that we're painting, his hair has lots of waves and layers in it too. And that's to show that there is power in Jesus. His hair shows his power, how nothing can hold him back. And yet, our God chooses to come amongst us and to be gentle with us. He doesn't force his way, even though he has all the power of the whole universe at his fingertips. Another thing that's kind of neat about Jesus's hair is that, well, he's got a big forehead. His hairline is quite high up in his head. Why is that? Well, it's to show that inside his head, there's all the wisdom of all the ages, because he's God. As God, he knows everything. So Jesus is depicted with a large forehead because, man, we got to cram a lot of brains in there. Well, we don't, but we can imagine that all that wisdom needs a lot of real estate, a lot of space. That's why Jesus has a very tall forehead. I assume most of you are still painting the hair, but in case anyone's getting really fast, let's talk about the beard for a second. So you'll notice that in this picture, Jesus' beard has kind of a, a soft edge where it fades upward. There's the bottom edge, which is pretty solid. You've done that kind of painting already. But how do we make it fade upwards into his face? Well, the answer to that is pretty simple. Use less paint. When you're painting with lots of paint, you can get a pretty solid layer. But once your brush is dry, not so much paint comes off of it. Well, that's a technique we use called dry brushing. When we use a brush which has no, no wet paint on it, you can rub it and it will leave some little bits of hints of a paint, but it won't make it solid. So by rubbing a drier brush, you can kind of fade the color to nothingness. So maybe take a look at this. At the bottom of the beard, you want it to have a solid color. As you get a little bit higher up, you want a little bit less. Now, of course, you don't want the beard to go all the way up his face, so there's the lines that are carved there. I want you to aim that fading area at that line. Stop a little bit above it, start a little bit below it, and that way his beard doesn't creep up his face too far. Well, what about Jesus' beard and his long hair? Was that realistic? Well, we know that in Jesus' time, most Jewish men would wear beards, and the Bible told them that they should have long hair at the sides of their face. 
So probably Jesus had that too. We're not exactly sure what Jesus looked like. But in about the year five or 600, well, almost all the icons started depicting Jesus with long hair and a beard that had a little split in the middle. If you look at your icon, you'll notice that there's a split in that beard too. Why? Well, at this time, people found what we call the Shroud of Turin. And the Shroud of Turin depicts someone who might be Jesus, probably is, I think, but I don't know. And this person has long hair and a cleft beard, which means has a split in it. So ever since people found that shroud, Icons have always depicted Jesus with long hair. And there's one more thing that you might notice, even though we're probably not going to paint it this time around. I guess you could right now, but we're going to do it in another lesson. But there's two hairs that hang at the top of Jesus' forehead. Why two hairs? Well, once again, we can't say enough about Jesus having two natures. He is God and he is man. So anytime that we can put a little reminder in there that he is both God and man, we do it. As you keep painting, let's think about all the power that Jesus has and how he gives himself for us, how he has all the wisdom of the world, and yet he chooses to be with us and to love us more than anything else. Jesus, you are so wonderful. Jesus, Lord Jesus, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord, always guide us and help us so that we can trust you Trust your power and trust your wisdom. Help us so that we can always follow you and be good. All right, students, I'm going to let you guys paint. Keep praying as you paint, and we'll see you in the next session.